<laughs> did you find the gravity manipulator you were looking for? I did. But the guy who sold it to me was sort of an oddball. Do you do you know him? Ol' Iris. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows him. Ol' Iris, our school teacher. Uh huh. Do you remember that time he made us take home insect samples to study, and they reproduced <laughs> by the hundreds in our houses? <laughs> well, maybe you weren't so good at your insect homework, but I'm sure you were an amazing mother. Yeah, she is. Hmm. And uh, and your children, where are they tonight? They're with the babysitter. Whose mother, Laura, is our landscape oh. architect. Leo, please don't bring it up. It's all so distressing. We're building a gazebo in our backyard. It's being carved out of this huge, beautiful piece of stone that was left from the wreckage. We couldn't have been more clear with Laura that we wanted mm. it to face south. So that we could enjoy the light off the orchard in the evening. And she's carved it in the wrong direction. So now we have this stone monolith in our backyard that's facing the woods. Nothing can be done about it. So tragic. Well, I mean, it's not that bad. You'll see that the direction you're facing matters a great deal. Of course it does. It affects your mood. And your quality of sleep. Well, we will find a way to manage. Uh, excuse me. Hey.